good morning you YouTube you it's a beautiful peaceful Wednesday June the 1st blazing June it's supposed to be called but the only bit of blue sky is up there and it's a no, maybe there and it's actually a tiny bit cold hmm wonderful fun anyway what I've got today is the ex Flankatanka Moonbeam McSwine, which last time out uh, it caused me to have my first ever brownout, which is a bit of a panic. What happened was I thought I was managing to get it under control. I was a passenger, of course. Anyway, sort of nosed in heavily, as you might well have seen, and it bent the motor shaft. So I've used the motor out of my spare Hobby King Tempest 5. And put that into Moonbeam, so it's a bit of a sort of a test flight, and hopefully I won't get any more repeats of uh, what happened last time. Anyway, YouTube, let's get the thing in the air. filmed the intro about two minutes ago and there's a bit of a gap in the clouds the sun is shining look at the grass it's uh, about nearly two weeks since I was up here with the Phoenix S motor glider the grass is now above my waist in the highest points anyway that changes nothing let's get the Mustang in the air Okay, control check. Uh, here we go. Right elevator, elevator, right aileron, left aileron, elevator up, elevator down, right and left. Throttle cut is, wasn't on, is now. As I pick it up, now it is off. So let's put some power in and get Moonbeam in the air. Again, I always, if I've got it, I'll launch with safe, but we'll be out of that pronto. Ooh, sounds like, yep, agricultural stuff next door at the farm. out I was speaking with the landowner the other day. Uh, we were off on our way to, uh, I was going to fly my E-Flight Spitfire video, which you'll have seen. And as we got home, we discovered there was uh, bees trying to nest in our hedge outside our house. Uh, we're trying to sell our house at the moment, so uh, that wouldn't have been good to much curb appeal bee stings for the uh, potential viewers. But anyway, the landowner who lives sort of just sort of opposite us <clears throat> toddled out with a friend of his, all done out in beekeeping gear. And uh, we said, oh, that's a bit fortuitous. <laughs> We've got this nest. He said, yeah, we know we tried to get hold of you, but you weren't in. <clears throat> we were up the field when in the landowner's field flying. Anyway, uh, the beekeeper chap was very interested in uh, the E-Flight Spitfire 14. And uh, anyway, got about his business, and uh, I think it took about three hours, but he uh, he got the bees moved on, and the landowner 
has an apiary. Now you know what an apiary is, don't you? Uh, keeps bees. So he's very keen to uh, uh, capture this lot and put them in one of his um, uh, beehives, which was duly done. Anyway, little random story there. Completely of no interest to you, or flying, or RC in particular. But it just came to mind. Now, I did speak with the landowner. I've picked up my link again. Ooh. So we were yakking away and I asked, asked him, um, when do you think you're going to be cutting the grass in your big field this year? And I think it's going to be about three, four weeks later than normal. We've had a bit of a weird, a weird year weather-wise. This one. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that but in the meantime the grass is going to get even more wild uh, probably be sort of like mid chest up to my um should we say bra strap uh, before it all goes and I'm hoping to get in as soon as it's been cut and try and see if I can get my uh, 1.2 meter warbirds to do actual proper you know takeoffs from the ground instead of be hand launched, but we've got a bit of um, bit of time. Oops, away from that blackbird. Yeah, got a bit of a wait, few weeks yet. So it's hand launch and belly landing only. But uh, if you follow the channel, you see that uh, last year when I tried to maiden my uh, E-flight Spitfire. Um, it, oh no, I must have spent 15, 20 attempts trying to get it off the newly uh, cut ground and uh, it wasn't having any of it. Now, we sort of rocked up three weeks after the grass was cut because the weather was just atrocious. Just rain and rain and rain and rain and rain. So <clears throat> I re didn't really get the, the best benefit of the short grass. I'm hoping that I'll... Uh, reap that benefit and um, I can actually present some videos to you guys and girls of uh, the warbirds not being hand launched just for a change. Our house is up for sale and we have a plan um, which I'll sort of announce here. We're looking to buy a property with some land so oh, there's the uh, last knockings for the timer so I'll bring this in yes we're looking to um, no, we, we won't be able to repeat this this is this is exceptional this is 11 acres um, in the UK a house with 11 acres costs a fortune but we found some and just missed out on them but uh, yeah keep your eyes peeled there'll come a time when uh, the channel will have to sort of stop for a bit because we might have to move into rented accommodation. Oop, I'm walking over there. Let's bring it round again. So plans are afoot. <laughs> it's like an arrestor hook with this long, very long grass. I mean, it's, I'll try and get down amongst it. I mean, it's, it's just crazy and it's going to get worse. Anyway, that's the plans. The throttle cut is on. Let's go and get Moonbeam. I think that was a success. No brownouts, no, where's he gone? <laughs> there he is. Uh, yeah, no brownouts or any problems. So, uh, yes, keep your eyes peeled. I'll keep you guys sort of in the loop. I mean, best laid plans and all that. You know, never come to anything, do they? There's always a problem. And we've got a hooked in aircraft. Yeah, brought it in on safe, by the way you probably suss that. Anyway, that's a test flight on Moonbeam with the Tempest motor. All went well. Um, there you are YouTube. You take care. Hopefully you'll come and watch another video and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye now.